Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Lecture. So we have been discussing about the Euler's theorem uh, last time. So we'll continue with that. So what we saw that if we assume this matrix P to be of the form cos phi i plus one minus cos phi times a tilde a tilde transpose minus sine phi times a tilde cross. So, uh, this is identical to C matrix we, we have been trying to prove. Okay. So, here phi is the rotation about the eigen axis, rotation angle about the eigen axis and uh, A tilde this is the unit vector which defines the eigen axis okay and i this is the identity matrix so for p to prove this that this is a rotation matrix this needs to be proved. So, what we need to show that P transpose P this equal to I, okay. so this is one of the uh, properties of the rotation matrix. Then also we have need to check that by indeed phi is the rotation about the A axis. So, what we suggested uh, last time that uh, once we are start writing this P transpose P, so enter this, so this will turn out to be indeed as I under certain uh, characteristic that uh, we have to assume A cross, we have to uh, write this A cross A is equal to A tilde transpose times A tilde times A tilde transpose minus i okay. and A tilde cross A tilde this equal to 0. Okay. So, I have given you the equation last time. So, in that expanded equation if you use this quantities, so ultimately it will get reduced to i which I am not going to prove here because we'll, we are going to take this in the uh, as a tutorial problem. Okay, so, if P transpose P this equal to Y, so this will also imply as per our earlier derivation, this will also imply that P times P transpose equal to Y. Okay. Let us check that P is in this indeed the rotation matrix about the vector A. So, if we operate on A tilde by this P matrix, so we have i cos phi plus 1 minus cos phi tilde transpose minus and this we are operating by on the vector a. So, here this will get reduced to a tilde cos phi plus uh, this is the identity matrix multiplied by this vector a that will give you the vector A itself. This is a scalar, so it remains as it is. And here we have 1 minus cos phi 
and we will use the property that tilde transpose a tilde. So, you can look at like this, this part, this second part here and this and this. So, if we look into this, so this is a tilde transpose a tilde, so because this is a unit vector and therefore, this gets reduced to a tilde. So, this is a tilde and already we have discussed that a tilde cross a tilde this equal to 0 and therefore, this term gets reduced to 0. So, we have a tilde cos phi plus a tilde minus a tilde cos phi and this term this term drops out giving us a tilde. So, this is p times a tilde this equal to a tilde. So, this is indeed rotation about the a axis because the a axis remains unaltered. Okay. Therefore, uh, and now the last thing we need to find out uh, that uh, the trace of this p matrix is indeed the trace trace of the c matrix that we have used earlier. So, we will write this as. So, we have written two properties and the last one the trace p trace i cos phi plus phi a tilde cross. Okay. So, we can break it. So, this will be trace i and here cos phi plus 1 minus cos phi trace a tilde i tilde transpose minus sin phi trace a tilde cross. Okay. So, this is cos phi and trace i this is the uh, i is the identity matrix of diagonal terms are 0 here. Okay, so, some of the diagonal elements this is 3. So, we will put 3 here okay. and uh, this trace a times a transpose. So, if you write here a times this is uh, a tilde times a tilde transpose. So, this will turn out to be a symmetric matrix whose diagonal terms will be a 1 a square, a 2 a square and a 3 a square. And already we know that because a tilde magnitude this equal to a square equal to a 1 a square plus a 2 a square plus a 3 a square this equal to 1 and therefore, this gets reduced to 1 and we have 1 minus cos phi here in this place and minus sin phi times trace of a cross. So, a cross is your 0 0 0 and here minus a 3 a 2 minus a 1 a 1 minus a 2 and a 3. So, the diagonal sum of the diagonal elements here it is a 0 and therefore, this term drops out this is 0 this quantity is 1. So, here this becomes 0 and what ultimately we get 1 plus 2 cos phi. So, the trace of p is exactly the same uh, of the same format as the trace of the c matrix the rotation matrix. So, in all the ways that we see that p is identical to identical to this C matrix and therefore, this implies this implies that P is indeed a rotation matrix. So, this means that P is identical to C and therefore, the C we can write as cos phi i plus 1 minus cos phi a tilde times a tilde transpose minus sin phi a tilde cross. Now, the question uh, will arise that either we are given phi and a tilde. So, we can find out c or either c is given then vice versa we have to find out phi and a tilde. So, so it so happens that finding c when 
a tilde and phi are known and this is a straight forward process and gibbs c So, uh, find C when A tilde and phi are known. So, uh, when A tilde and phi are known, C can be determined uniquely. However, if C is given and A tilde phi need to be found out, then there are certain problems. Which, which we need to discuss. Okay, besides, uh, we have forgotten one more thing that we need to prove that this uh, p tilde determinant this equal to plus 1. So, already we know that uh, we have proved that p tilde transpose p this equal to i and therefore, this p tilde square will be equal to so, uh, Okay, so th this part we are aware of, okay. and uh, this determinant we need to prove that this is equal to one. If we do that, only then our job is done. So we start with this p tilde transpose. If we take the determinant of this, so this will be p tilde, and this will be determinant of phi. Then this implies this determinant, this determinant, they are the same okay, transpose taking transpose does not change the determinants and on the right hand side we will have this as 1. So, this implies p tilde equal to plus minus 1. Okay. Now, out of this plus and minus we need to stick with plus 1. It will be clear when you look into that when phi equal to 0. Okay, so, this implies cos phi equal to 1 and sin phi equal to 0 and therefore, if you put these values in the p matrix. So, this will get reduced to i plus 1 minus <coughs> 1 times a tilde times a tilde transpose minus sin phi which is 0 times a tilde cross. So, here this part is 0, this part is 0 and p equal to i okay. and this implies p determinant this equal to plus 1. Okay. In this case, it is a very simple. So, because there is no square involved here p determinant equal to plus 1 and because this is a rotation matrix and uh, it is a determinant is plus 1. So, it must happen that it is a determined if we give different values to the pi um, this phi. So, still we we should get uh, a determinant value of plus 1 and therefore, 
we need to neglect here the minus sign. So, therefore, so this implies that p equal to plus 1 for all other values of So, this way we have proved all the requirements for P to be a uh, rotation matrix and already we have written that therefore, P is identical to C and then we have written in the format i cos phi plus 1 minus cos phi a tilde a tilde transpose minus sin phi times a tilde cross. So, this is our rotation matrix. Now, given this quantity um, that your a tilde and phi are known. So, if we expand this, okay, so we can find out the elements of this C matrix. Okay. So, on the left hand side if we write C as C 1 1, C 1 2, C 1 3, And on the right hand side, then we will have here cos phi, cos phi, cos phi. We are expanding all the terms. This is the first term, and then plus 1 minus cos phi times a tilde a tilde transpose. So, that quantity is a1 a1 a square, and here a1 a2, a1 a3, similarly a2 a1, a2 a square, a2 a3 and then a 3 a 1, a 3 a 2 and a 3 a square. So, this is your the second term and the third term of course, this is minus psi sin phi and a cross which is a skew symmetric matrix minus a 3 a 2 a 1 a 1 a 3 and this is minus a 2. Okay. So, if we add the right hand side and compare these terms. So, we can uh, get the corresponding values let us say C 1 1. So, C 1 1 we need to add all the first terms. So, this will be cos phi plus 1 minus cos phi times a 1 a square and here this first term is 0. So, that put it as 0. So, this is your first term which is uh, cos phi plus 1 minus cos phi a 1 a square. In the same way if you write, so C T 2 this will be cos phi again the same way plus 1 minus cos phi times A 2 a square and C 3 3 equal to cos phi plus 1 minus cos phi A 3 a square. So, your diagonal elements of the this matrix C is known this way it remains to find out the off, off diagonal terms. So, go in the same way and uh, find out the terms corresponding to let us say this C 1 2. C 1 2 here this first term this term is corresponding here 0. So, this is 0 plus 1 minus cos phi times a 1 a 2 and here this term is plus sin phi times a 3. So, A 3 will write in the ahead. So, this is your C 1 C 1 2 okay. and in the same way C 2 1 if you look into this. So, C 2 1 is this quantity here uh, you have to add all this quantity. So, C 2 1 will be 0 plus 1 minus cos phi from this place then A 1 A 2 or a 2 a 1 whatever way you want to write. So, let us write that way only because these are the scalars. So, it does not matter uh, so what sequence we write and lastly so the last term we have to pick up. So, here uh, C 2 1 so this term we have to pick up. So, this comes with minus a 3 sin phi. So, this is minus minus a 3 sin phi. 
So, this way if we continue we can complete this uh, cycle. So, we will have uh, C 2 3 equal to A 1 sin phi plus A 2 A 3 1 minus cos phi C 3 2 equal to minus A 1 and C 3 1 equal to A 2 sin phi plus cos phi and C 1 3 equal to minus A 2 sin phi plus A 1 A 3 1 minus cos phi. So, this way all the elements of this C matrix it is a known. So, given phi the rotation angle about the eigen axis and the this vector A itself okay, which is constituted of A 1, A 2 and A 3. Okay. So, we will be able to find out this C the rotation matrix and also we need to look in the opposite way in the vice versa. Also, we need to look into uh, just the opposite way that is given C find A tilde and phi. So, this process it creates certain problem and care must be taken while uh, working with the problem. Okay, so, before we do this uh, let us look into uh, or maybe we can continue with uh, whatever we have been doing and we will return back to this problem. So, the first we have the problem here finding A tilde and phi from C. This is my, my problem which we need to sort out. So, already we have seen that if C is given. So, the trash of C trash C equal to C 1 1 plus C 1 2 uh, C 2 2 plus C 3 3 and this we can write as delta and this quantity have we have written as 1 plus 2 times cos phi. So, C is given. So, from here what we have if C is given. So, this quantity is known. Okay. So, from this place then cos phi this becomes delta minus 1 divided by 2. Okay. The other part we have to also look into So, one is the first step is our delta write this as C 1 1 plus C 2 2 plus C 3 3 equal to 1 plus 2 cos phi and from there you write cos phi equal to delta minus 1 divided by 2. So, the second step is what we get cos phi equal to delta minus 1 divided by 2. Now, what we are left with that we have to find out the A vector. There are certain problems involved. So, we have to resolve all these problems even with the angles which will come across shortly. So, we have this C matrix the rotation matrix which we are writing as I cos phi plus uh, 1 minus cos phi A tilde A tilde transpose minus sin phi A tilde cross. Okay. So, if you look into this this is a symmetric term, this is also a symmetric term because A tilde times A tilde transpose this is a symmetric matrix. Similarly, I is a symmetric matrix and therefore, this together it is a symmetric term while here on this side this is skew symmetric term.
this is skew symmetric matrix and you must be aware of in from your elementary matrix algebra that c can be written as 1 by 2 times c plus c transpose plus 1 by 2 times c minus c transpose if we break it and add it up so if we can check whether we have done the right thing or not so 1 by 2 this this cancels out times 2c equal to c so this simply says that uh, any matrix can be broken into two terms one is a symmetric one and another one is the skew symmetric one so this portion this is symmetric okay so this is symmetric while this one is skew symmetric so therefore we get certain advantage from this place that 1 by 2 times c minus c transpose here we will look that this term is symmetric term and this term is turning out to be the skew symmetric so 1 by 2 times c minus c transpose must be equal to sin phi times a tilde cross and this implies that a tilde cross we can write as 1 by 2 sin phi times c transpose minus c okay. so this constitutes our uh, avenue uh, for finding out this particular expression a1 a2 and a3 but there are certain problems involved which we need to sort out So, we have here 1 by 2 c transpose minus c this we are writing as a tilde cross sin phi or either we can write sin phi here in this place. So, a tilde cross we can uh, rub it rub this side. a tilde cross this equal to 1 by 2 sin phi c transpose minus c. Now, if phi equal to 0 or plus minus phi or plus minus 2 phi. So, we can see that sin phi reduces to 0 and therefore, a cross is not defined. Okay. So, this is a problem that uh, for these values we are we face certain problem. So, uh, let us explore it once uh, the corresponding cos phi when phi equal to 0. So, this implies cos phi this equal to 1 when phi equal to pi cos phi equal to minus 1 and when phi equal to 2 pi and uh, lastly when phi equal to minus phi phi equal to minus 1. So, uh, the corresponding delta value if we look into so delta equal to uh, delta we have uh, uh, okay, uh, cos phi we have written as delta minus 1 divided by 2. So, what happens here in this case that if we choose the first one okay, phi equal to 0. So, delta this gets reduced to 1 if we choose this one this is the second one. So, phi equal to minus 1 cos phi equal to minus 1 and then delta minus 1 divided by 2. So, this implies delta equal to minus 2 plus 1 equal to uh, this should turn out to be minus 2 minus 2 equal to delta minus 1 1 minus 2 equal to minus 1 okay. 
and phi equal to uh, this one we need to correct here here we have written it strongly so uh, phi equal to 1 if we put uh, cos phi equal to 1 here so this quantity this is 1 equal to delta minus 1 divided by 2 and this implies delta equal to 3 so similarly the third one 1 equal to delta minus 1 by 2 this implies delta equal to 3 and for the fourth one again we get this is the third one and the fourth one is minus 1 delta equal to minus 1. Okay. So, we are getting either the value of delta equal to minus 1 or either 3 for all these values where sin phi is vanishing. Now, for phi equal to 2 pi 0 or 4 pi or minus 2 pi and so on. So, it simply implies that suppose this is a vector and this has been rotated by 2 pi. So, this vector will again come to the same position is not it or either it has not been rotated. So, it remains in the same position and if you look into the similarly for the other 4 pi minus uh, 2 pi etcetera. So, if you look into the C, so here i times cos phi plus 1 minus cos phi a tilde a tilde minus sin phi a tilde cross. Okay. So, if you put all these quantities where sin phi is vanishing, so this quantity is 0 and for all these 0 2 pi this quantity will vanish, this will also be 0. So, this a term is vanishing is not it here also this term involving a is vanishing. So, therefore, from given C matrix it is not possible to find out a. So, for this case, so th this indicates either the motion has not started this indicates that rotation has not started or it has rotated in multiples of of 2 pi. Okay. So, for this particular case we are 2 pi 0 4 pi minus 2 pi and so on minus 4 pi. So, we would not be able to find out the a vector okay, which is very much visual from this place. Okay. For all other cases when delta is not equal to minus 1 or 3. So, for these cases we can solve it. Okay. So, for those cases it is a very easy to write because already we have written a cross matrix equal to 1 by 2 sin phi c transpose minus c. So, we just need to in insert c transpose c and uh, phi of uh, of course, we need to uh, we have already defined this phi. So, in the case where this phi is non zero, this sin phi is non zero. So, this quantity is known and the right hand side this is known and therefore, a cross can be defined uniquely. Okay. So, if, uh, certain problems are involved. So, one problem was here that we have resolved this case for this particular case where sin phi is non zero. Okay. So, for that particular case we are able to uniquely define it and uh, that you can do by writing a tilde cross. So, here 0 0 0 minus a 3 a 2 then here minus a 1 a 1 minus a 2 a 3 okay. and on the right hand side expand this by writing 1 by 2 sin phi and c transpose minus c. So, that will turn out to be uh, you have the elements like c 1 here it will be transpose of this c 1 2 c 1 3 then c 2 1 c 2 2 and c 2 3 this is transpose of the c matrix c 3 1 c 3 2 c 3 3 and then subtract from here the c matrix which is c 1 1 c 1 2 c 1 3 c 
c21 c22 c23 t1 c32 c33 and the compare the corresponding terms so if you if we do so so you will be able to get the uh, quantities here a1 a2 a3 etc so what we see that this a2 from this place a2 is this minus this so c31 minus c13 divided by 2 sin phi okay a2 okay similarly a1 we can check from this place this is c23 minus c32 divided by 2 sin phi okay similarly we will have a3 we can check from this place c12 c12 minus c21 divided by 2 sin phi so this gives you uniquely a1 a2 a3 so your phi is defined and uh, also your uh, a1 a2 a3 is defined and there are certain other problems we will of course discuss during course of time so what is remaining here that uh, we need to discuss the case where here for 2 pi 0 4 pi we have already done we need to discuss about the plus minus pi plus minus 3 pi this case is remaining so we will discuss it in the next lecture thank you for listening we continue this in the next lecture